हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू चैनल माय रिसर्च सपोर्ट सो फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली आई हैव पब्लिश्ड टू पेपर्स अ रिव्यू पेपर व्हिच इज एक्सेप्टेड विद इन द पीरियड ऑफ टू मंथ्स एंड अ रिसर्च पेपर व्हिच इज एक्सेप्टेड विद इन द पीरियड ऑफ थ्री मंथ्स एंड द जर्नल इज एडवांस्ड इंजीनियरिंग मटेरियल्स वाइली पब्लिशर सो दिस इज कूपस क्यू वन जर्नल एंड वेब ऑफ साइंस मीन्स एस सी आई क्यू टू जर्नल सो दिस इज वेटी गुड जर्नल सो टूडे दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टिप्स एंड टेक्निक्स दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्लाय टू योर रिसर्च पेपर और रिव्यू पेपर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो पब्लिश इट विद इन द पीरियड ऑफ टू टू थ्री मंथ्स सो नाउ द फर्स्ट मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज सिलेक्शन ऑफ अ प्रॉपर जर्नल अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिसर्च एरिया रिसर्च फील्ड टॉपिक सो प्लीज डू नॉट रिलाय on your friends your colleagues your professor that they will suggest few journals for you and if even if you are getting few names from them then do not forget to analyze that journal so you have to just keep these two points in mind that the first point is you have to search that journal title name from the scoopers web page if it is a scoopers journal and from the web of science web page if it is a sci or web of science index journal because of that you will get two benefits first so if you are searching that journal title name from any search engine then there is a possibility that you can be redirected to the clone journal home page and your whole research article can be wasted if you are very sure about that particular journal home page or website then definitely you can just search from the search engine but i always recommend to just go to the web of science or scoopers page so so the first benefit is you can redirect it to the uh, genuine journal home page that is the first advantage and second advantage that you can ensure that if that journal is there on the scoopers web page then you can ensure that the journal is under scoopers indexing so that journal title if whenever you will be searching on the web of science page or master journal list page then it will ensure that that journal is under sci ssci that will be clearly mentioned there and then when you will be redirected to that journal home page or website then you have to download 8 to 10 recently published research articles and you have to see you have to observe what are the submission dates and acceptance dates see most of the journals maybe more than 80 80% journals mention these dates means uh, submission date research paper submission date and acceptance date but maybe for 10 to 20% journal you won't get these dates but in that case you will see that whether that journal matrix they have mentioned about the tentative revision period okay tentative publication period from that also you will get an idea about exactly within what period that this journal can accept a research article see you will get the tentative idea about that but if you are referring to the 10 research papers and if 7 to 8 9 research papers are published or accepted maybe within the period of 2 to 3 months then there is a possibility that your research article can also be accepted and you can move ahead submitting your research article in that journal so you can also see about the acceptance rate so very few journals mention about acceptance rate maybe 50% or 55% if acceptance rate is also mentioned that is good means higher acceptance rate will also maximize the acceptance rate for your research article and now the second important point is formatting of your research or review paper so as per my experience many standard journal reputed journal do not have any strict formatting guidelines means you have to only submit your research article or review paper in a single column few fonts you need to be taken care of like heading subheadings and uh, the main text etc but still you have to stick to the journal guidelines which is clearly mentioned on every journal's home page starting from the requirements of title towards the references you have to read each and every point very carefully you have to see whether they have mentioned about any specific number of words in title and then you have to see see most of the time while writing author names we simply put author names we do not write doctor professor mr etc and then after that you have to just put your abstract so for abstract also in most of the journals they have some limit of number of words so please stick to that then you can put your keywords keywords also they have mentioned about maybe you can use five keywords or seven keywords then you can move towards your introduction literature and till references okay you can divide your research paper or review paper according to see there won't be any strict that section wise requirements you can just divide your research or review paper according to your theme or your topic 
but whenever you will be putting your references i'll never recommend that you write references manually you can use either maybe zotero endnote or mendeley i personally prefer mendeley then you will finish writing your references then also you have to just emphasize on figures and tables in most of the journals that you can use these figures and tables within the text itself but few journals demand that you can separately include your number of figures and number of tables in the last portion after references so you have to stick to this also you have to read this also very carefully and then before submitting when you will format your research article then do not forget to use any grammar checking tool so that you can correct all the grammatical mistake even though we are very good at english but still whenever you will be checking that i also personally prefer grammarly premium so in that case also i'll be getting many mistakes that i used to correct with that software and whenever you will correct all grammatical errors and then in the last stage that you have to check your research article against plagiarism you have to see what plagiarism percentage your document is having and in most of the journals that they prefer less than 10 percent so i'll also prefer i'll also recommend that please try to keep plagiarism less than 10 percent if it is coming more than 10 percent then you can just rewrite few of your words and obviously you can put specific citations also and after rewriting obviously you can make that percentage less and try to keep that percentage less than 10 percent now moving towards the third point so whenever you'll be ready with a proper formatting of your research paper or review paper then you can think about different submission files means it is not only the review paper or research paper that you have to submit then along with that you have to submit certain files that also you have to prepare properly so cover letter is the most important thing then title page then whether the journal is demanding for graphical abstract table of contents that you have to see and then the list of reviewers list of tables list of figures sometimes we have to submit the list of tables list of figures separately sometimes we have to attach high definition figures separately so in that case you should be ready with the high definition figures most preferably uh, tiff format or jpg format and the list of reviewers is also very important in most of the cases that the journal will definitely ask you to suggest two to three reviewers but 90 percent your research paper won't be sent to those reviewers but they will ask you to submit because they have to enhance their database and in future if similar research articles will be submitted in that journal then basically they will be sending those research papers to these reviewers the reviewers suggested by you but obviously if the journal is unable to find a specific reviewers for your research paper so in that case the journal may consider uh, the list of reviewers or the reviewers that suggested by you and they will send research paper to these reviewers as well and hence please suggest the list of reviewers very carefully and if you want me to prepare a detailed video on the submission file then let me know that i'll be prepare a different videos maybe on writing uh, cover letter title page uh, that uh, graphical abstract etc now let's move towards the fourth and last point which is the quality of your paper that is the most important point so let me first discuss about a review paper so publishing review paper in high reputed scoopers and web of science index journal is not a difficult task but you have to put a little more efforts to write a review paper rather than writing a research paper now the first and most important point is how many research paper that i should refer in order to write my review paper and what should be the length of my review paper so this question is asked repeatedly by many research scholars so my answer is in order to write a review paper you have to refer at least 150 to 200 research papers or maybe more than that see you need not to read each and everything from all these 200 research papers so you have to focus or emphasize on a specific data paragraph that suits to the theme of your review paper that text only or that data only you can include and on the other side that with only 10 to 20 research papers also you can write a good review paper that can be accepted in this reputed journals Cooper's SCI journals but that is a very rare situation means in the case that you are working on a specific topic where only few research articles are available so in that case it can be happened so in 2015 I have published one review paper in a Scoopers index journal uh, which has only seven to eight 
research paper that also I have discussed in my previous video. So that also can be happened. But most of the times it happen that that we are working on a specific topic and we'll find hundreds of research papers. So in that case, you have to refer 150 or even more than that. And uh, let me come towards the length of the review paper. So your review paper can be of 20 to 30 pages or even more than that. So in that case also you have to be very sure about the journal in that you have planned to submit your review paper. So if that journal have mentioned that it can only be within, see they, they will be mentioning about specific number of pages, maybe 10, 15, 20. So if they have mentioned a specific number of pages, then you can limit your review paper, maybe within those pages and you can submit it. And the second point is if you want to write an excellent review paper, then you can see if your professor is having access to Scoopers or Web of Science Index database. So if you have that access, then definitely you will get a lot of information about published research papers. Means within the starting few pages, maybe two to three pages, you can just put this data analytics, maybe in the form of graphs. Means the research carried out in last five years, maybe number of research papers and maybe last five years and how many research papers are available on that particular topic then the research carried out in different countries that the highest possible country for example if on that topic on which you are writing this research paper so maximum research is carried out in Japan then India then Australia so in that way also that you can just convert that data into a proper graph so that will definitely would be a very excellent starting of your review paper and then when you will do that then the second stage is Whenever you will read this research paper, please convert that data into a specific data sheet, maybe by using Excel. Okay. See, now it depends on your skill. For example, if I have specific material and that specific material is modified and it is affecting to specific properties, then I can put on one column, I can put the materials on other column, I can put the different properties and I can convert this data into a perfect a proper graph that is the most important thing in review paper so try to convert the data try to organize the data in well structured manner by using some tables some attractive graphs some figures some schematics and definitely if you are doing this and along with that you have to critically analyze those graphs and data so that would be your contribution and then only these journals like Scoopers and Web of Science Index Journal will consider your review paper for publication. Otherwise, if you are only including the text, then definitely that might be some duplication of the whatever data available. And in the preliminary stage itself, your review article can be rejected. Now let's move towards the research paper. In research paper also, you can write the research paper maybe till 8 to 10 pages. And also you can write the research paper of 30 to 40 pages for example if you are working on a specific topic and on that topic you have many research articles already published related topic so in that case you have to perform several extra experiments means you have to write your research paper in depth in depth analysis is required so in that case you have to prepare your research paper maybe of 30 to 40 or 50 pages and number of references for research paper especially 40 to 50 references are more than enough but if your topic is a complete novel topic and very few research articles are available related to that topic so in that case you can you write your research paper maybe within 8 to 10 pages and then also this research paper can be accepted now let me show you quickly my published review and research paper here you can see so the first one is a review paper which is accepted on 9 january 2023 and hence its online copy online world published version is available with me and this is a research paper which is recently published accepted on 10th july okay and this paper is online but i have not yet received its published version or author copy so i'll be showing you my manuscript instead of so first i would like to show you my review paper so you can see this the number of pages are 28 so when i had submitted this paper then the number of pages were something around 50 so in two columns it is reduced to size is reduced to 28 i would like to show you my references page first okay so the number of references are something around 220 
and if you look at the paper review paper then i have converted c as it is i have used few figures from already published data as it is however i have received proper i have taken proper permissions from that publisher which is the necessity of this journal requirement of this journal so even though you are citing for any image or figure copied from already published data then also you have to obtain special permission from the that publisher so do not forget to obtain that permissions and i have used as i told you that i have first gathered all this information in excel format and then i have converted that information in the form of some schematics figures for example this figure corresponds to number of research articles maybe 30 40 research articles so in this way if you are converting your data in the form of figures or maybe in the form of tables and if you are interpreting these results in proper manner then definitely your review article can become very attractive and will definitely be considered for publication in many high reputed journal even if it is a review paper and this is a research paper which is two days before it is available online but i think it is still in the production stage and hence we have not it received authors copy but this is a research paper okay and maybe within few days 5 to 7 days i'll be having its online version published version so for research paper as you can see here the number of references are something around 65 so as i told you 40 50 or 65 number of references are more than enough and in research paper the sections you can decide that which section how you have to organize the sections so even though in general guideline section they have mentioned about specific sections like introduction methodology experimentations research and discussions etc but you have some freedom that you can divide so introduction this is a common point that may includes the literature review and methodology will be common to most experimental or methodology will be common and in results and discussion you can divide that section maybe two to three sub sections so as per your topic research area and the number of pages as you can see here around 44 including references this paper is of 44 pages but obviously when the online version will come the size will be reduced so friends these are some important points and tips that i wanted to share with you that i have a separate videos on how to write a research paper how to write a review paper so you can just refer to this channel and you can just go through those videos so if you still have a specific topics and if you want me to prepare the videos on those topics please put those topics in the comment box i'll definitely think on that and we'll prepare the similar kind of videos in your future so thank you very much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so i'll see you in my next video bye bye